Alright, we're back again. Hello. Uh, I'm finding that these are becoming less because I'm stressed out and just because uh, I'm getting back to my schedule. Uh, it reminds me of when, when I was a kid, which is weird to say, but I was a kid. Uh, when I started, when I first started making YouTube videos was, I was doing like gaming news and stuff like that. And uh, those videos are all gone, so you can't find them anymore. But... They're they're just main they they were just to maintain a schedule, and and less about because I needed a video di diary to to like de stress myself, which I prefer. I like I like having the video diary, uh, as a as a schedule as opposed to as opposed to because of I'm stressed. Oh, actually, you know what? Here I can do this because I'm not driving my car today. I'm driving my dad's car, and he has one of the little. Um, thingies you put in you put on your car so that it can hold the phone and and because it's got a hook on the bottom It can just hold the phone while it's sideways and I don't have to worry about it. This is awesome. I have one. I should just use it um Anyway uh, It's it's test day Boy do I love test day because test day means you get out of class early I mean like yeah, it's it's stressful just because of you know grades but it's 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 uh this is mine um i i i much prefer it to an actual lecture day just because of um i get so tired sometimes especially in especially in the early um uh specifically if it's if it's uh it's one of the first tests of the year and it's a psych class because over time i'm taking more and more psych classes uh a lot of the classes tend to like go over things that I already have learned, and they become a, a lot harder to focus on. And it shouldn't be. It it should it should be a time for me to like review, and uh, go over like past knowledge. But I end up not doing that. I, what I end up doing is I just I just tone I just I just I just tune out for like the first few weeks of school, and then and then I don't I end up taking I end up not taking the class seriously as a result, which which I know. You know, the fact that I'm I'm saying it right now, I'm aware of, but I still do it because hey, it's me. I'm stupid. Uh, but yeah, I, I just um, I, I just wish that some classes would, would get right on with it. Like, for instance, uh, this year I'm taking a social psychology class as well as a human behavior class both on the same day. So I have one in the morning and then I have one in the afternoon. So, there's a lot of factors going on here. Um, I have a weight training class right before my, my human psycho, human development class. Like, right before, right before. Like, literally 15 minutes before, barely giving me enough time to get to class because I have to go change and whatnot, blah, 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 blah. Anyway, I just wanted to say that before I say the next thing. So, the morning class takes place at 9.30, and I haven't had a 9.30 class since, I don't know, high school, I think. It sucks. I hate it. I would, the only reason I take I took the 9.30 class is because there was no other openings, because I registered really late, because, because I've been doing that lately. I don't know. I'm pretty sure I explained that in the last video, where I just, I just haven't been registering for classes early, even though, because of how many classes I've taken, because of how many units I have, I should have one of the higher priorities, but I just don't, I don't take, I don't take advantage of it because I'm, because I'm lazy. But, uh, somehow I still managed to get into some pretty good classes. Except for last semester where, like, I was pretty much taking just one class and it wasn't even part of my, uh, it wasn't even part of my transfer unit. It was just, I just wanted to take ASL for the, for the units. You know, and they ended up having really, I ended up having a lot of fun. It was really, really nice. Uh, plus it, plus the teacher was pretty cool. What was I saying? Oh yeah, so I have a 9.30 class, that's my social psychology class. I'm, first of all, I barely even get there in time because of how early it is. I set my alarm early, like, okay, I was like five minutes early to class today because I rushed and I didn't even buy a parking pass. Uh, like I said, I'm not, this isn't my actual car, so I just didn't bother buying a parking pass for this. I don't know where I'm supposed to get my car back. I hope, I hope it's soon. Or else I'm just gonna buy a parking pass because two dollars a day and having to worry about it every single time I come here, kind of stressful. But I, 
I don't have a parking pass for it, so every time I leave it without a parking pass, it's it's a risk of getting caught by campus security. So that's stressful. And because a class usually runs an hour fifteen, it's it it gives basically it gives it gives campus place around an hour and like an hour and a half to find my car and try to check in, which is a lot harder this year because they did some shit with. What they used to do was they would they would mail you a little sticker if you bought a parking pass. They they mail you a sticker and you would put that on your windshield. And so the can all the campus police would have to do is look at your windshield and see if the sticker was there. Right? They changed it so that the sticker doesn't exist anymore. So I guess it makes it a lot easier for people to get away with without a parking pass. Anyway, so I, I have that morning class. I barely get here in time because. Again, I haven't taken a 9.30 class since high school. I haven't had to wake up at this hour in a long, long time. I mean, besides for work. And work isn't, like... It's not the same because I don't have... Because the parking parking spaces are, first of all, like, way, way closer. And also, I feel like there's more of an urgency <laughs> to... There's more of an urgency to, to taking... To, to going to, to work as opposed to going to class for me because class is like i can miss class i can early, i can be like five minutes late, late to class and all i would miss is roll i would be late on the record but i wouldn't miss anything like uh, i wouldn't miss anything that i i wouldn't get penalized for it in, in this in the same way that i would pen, get penalized for work whereas the work there's a limited amount of times because there's a limited amount of times that i can be late before i get fired and in the class there's a limited amount of tardies that i can have before I get dropped from the class, and even at that, the classes can be very lenient, or also, a teacher will be like, five minutes, we be, we didn't even cover anything, you're fine. I'll mark you late, but you're fine. You know, that type of stuff. So, I'm not too worried about it. The other class, however, uh, takes place right after my weight training class, by which point I am so exhausted that I'm falling asleep. So between these two classes, I am basically getting half the info from each of them. One, because I'm falling asleep because it's too early in the morning. The other one, because I just got out of weight training and it sucks. So, my, my problem here is that human development and social psychology, at least in the beginning, are almost exactly the same class. They're talking about behaviorism, they're, they're talking about like Jean Piaget, like that type of stuff um behavior behaviorists you know it, it's it's it, i feel like human development is an extension of social psychology like you would take one one semester and then you take human development the next semester just so that you remember but i i i didn't know that at the time so i just i just didn't i didn't take it and now i'm taking them both at the same time and so the problem here is the same way that it's the same problem that I that happens every time I take two psych classes in one semester, and that terminology from one class bleeds into the other. Did you know that there's a difference between schema and schemes? I, I think, I, I think just uh, like the words are different, but I'm pretty sure they mean the same thing. But like it, that type of stuff ha happens a lot in psychology, where you have very similar terminology that you have to remember is attributed to different concepts or, or people so so it's it's the constant worry of taking an exam and just borrowing knowledge from one class and applying it here and then it's wrong because that concept doesn't exist in this class it's in the other one and vice versa so that's a problem but i but i still love test day just because uh like i said the class starts at 9 30 usually runs about an hour and a half it, Test means usually I get out of there like half an hour early, or maybe I, I, I'm only in class for like half an hour. But it, it's it's uh, I, I if I could take all my exams in one class in one day, that'd be great. I think no, never mind. I wasn't on the schedule. I just made that up completely. I thought I thought that my other class was having was supposed to have an exam today too but this but just decided to postpone it but no it's not i think it's next tuesday so actually yeah it's thursday so it's, it's next tuesday so there's that it's gonna be another long day for me we went to go watch it that's a good movie it's not as scary as i thought it was i, I think in that last video i explained how long 
of a day I was having. That's because I had class. I didn't know I had work that day, <laughs> right after my classes ended. So I had I worked that day, and I, I had the closing shift, and then we went to go watch a movie at, that started at like 11, because previews are literally half an hour. Like a movie says it starts at 10.30, movie doesn't start till 11, because there's a half hour of previews. So, I, you know, now that I think about it, it's an insane amount of advertising for the amount of money I'm paying to watch what is essentially a two and a half hour video. You know what I mean? Movie theater industry is fucked. Anyway, went, went to go watch it. Not as scary as I thought it was. I never read the book and I never saw the miniseries that was on TV in like 27 years ago. So I don't, I don't know anything about it other than, other than that shot of Pennywise the clown, like in the in the sewer, taking little Georgie. I didn't know he ate people either. So when so when that when he first eats Georgie, like when he first when he when he takes a bite out of Georgie's arm, which is this isn't spoilers. It's like it takes place like, you know, like the first five minutes of the movie. But I I, I will say that a, a book like it. Uh, which I hear took Stephen King like four years to make. It's about around 15,000 pages long. I feel like a movie adaptation of that is kind of light, you know. But basically, it's not nearly as scary as I thought it was going to be. And it was it was weirdly funny. Like, the, the kid from Stranger Things is in it. Uh, Finn Wolfhard, uh, the guy that played... I forgot his character's name in Stranger Things now, but he's he's the main guy, basically. But I hope, God, that kid, that kid is so cool, but I know what fame does to little kids, and the fact that he is, he's, he's being typecast into these, into these horror roles, I'm scared of two things happening, I'm scared of the, the Hollywood industry, Haley Joel Osmenting him, in that Haley Joel Osment was in The Sixth Sense, and after that, all the roles that he would get is just, like, the little creepy kid in horror movie roles and he was just nah I'm done with that so he just decided to like leave Hollywood and he's making a comeback but he's never gonna be as, as famous as he used to be because uh, he basically lost the, he basically uh, missed a shot so my pro my my concern is that Wolfhard is that Finn Wolfhard will be that kid will be the new kid where he's gonna be the he's gonna be the new horror kid you know and the other, and the other thing I'm concerned about is I know what fame does to kids; it can turn them into huge assholes, especially an impressionable teenage boy hanging out with like stars that he loves. Like he was on an episode of Game Grumps, which Game Grumps not nearly as big of a star as um, a movie star like like Finn Wolfhard or you know, but they're still popular, and Finn still idolizes them. And the fact that they have easy access to their heroes like that could inflate his ego to immense proportions and you know honestly if 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 there's anything i don't want to happen to this kid is i don't want his ego to be gigantic you know i just hope that he stays humble and he knows it but it, i mean i mean again that all depends on your environment i feel like i feel like if you're if you're being raised in an environment where like your parents your siblings your friends are all like talking about like your movie roles and stuff like that and they're like heavily basing their life based on how successful you are you will have that more inflated ego like look at justin bieber like he's kind of a dick right now but i feel like if he had gotten famous just five years later down his life you know he had that time to grow as a regular kid he would be less of an asshole right now maybe he would have been like jesse mccartney where jesse mccartney is it's kind of scared from what i remember about him it's kind of skating the line between dick and also a cool guy. I don't know. I don't really know a lot about Jesse McCartney. I'm really conflicted because I, I, he seems like that like stereotypical pretty boy. Like, oh, look at me. But also he voices Roxas in, in Kingdom Hearts. So he's also like a weeb. <laughs> I don't know if just voicing an anime character makes him a weeb. But I'm sure he has ties to the community. But, but... Yeah, it, it, like Justin Bieber, he got famous like when he wrote Baby, which came out what which he wrote when he was like three years old. So now that he's a now that he's grown up, he's like he's got this massive inflated ego, especially because of all the, his adoring fans and all, all the girls that love him. I guess that's the thing is, uh, I mean, I don't, I mean, maybe I'm too far away from it now. Like Justin Bieber was just, I guess, a little bit 
older than I am when he got famous. So, like, all the girls my age would flock towards him. So, so he seemed kind of... I see him more as, like, oh, yeah, he's that guy's pretty attractive. But Finn Wolfhard, I mean, like, I'm 20, and he's, like, way younger than I am. So I see him, like, on the opposite spectrum, where Justin Bieber was older than me, and now Finn is younger than me. So I don't see him getting to that, oh, he's so attractive, but I'm pretty sure people see that as well but also also there's a difference in Justin Bieber's a musician and Finn is a movie star and there's and and they get treated differently where where musicians are kind of seen as this like oh he's such a heartthrob whereas movie stars are kind of like oh like he's cute or something like that I just, I'm just, I'm just kind of worried for the kid, honestly, because he seems like, he does seem like a cool kid, I just don't want him to, I don't want him to end up being that asshole, I want him to have a successful movie career, I want to have him, I want to watch movies with him in it, I want to be like, oh, I remember when that kid was on Stranger Things, and I remember liking that show a lot, and then he was in It, speaking, going back to It, because, I mean, like, that, that book is almost 30 years old I, I don't have any qualms about spoiling aspects of it not not specific plots but it the the book follows the story of these kids overcoming their fears in the form of Pennywise the Pennywise the dancing clown all the way to their adulthood so the first movie <laughs> the first movie the movie it ends and it says it chapter one and it's about and it's basically the conclusion of the kids story so then chapter two would naturally be about the adults. I'm kind of worried that the adult part will not nearly be as interesting as the kid aspect because I feel like part of the charm of this movie was that the kids are really good actors and that's a special thing. And it's not nearly as cool as if, like, you, you know, no one's going to praise an adult for being a good actor. If you're an actor and you're an adult, you better know what you're doing. And if you fuck around, if you're like Adam Sandlering it, you know, no one cares. You know, if you're, if you're hamming it up, if you're a bad actor... You're, no, alright? Not Adam Sandler. Um, Adam Sandler has bad movies. I don't think he's a bad actor. I think, who's, who's just a bad actor? I can't name any of the top of my head right now that's an adult. Because I can't even say Hayden Christensen because that's not really fair to the guy. But like, but, oh, Tommy Wiseau. There you go. Right? Don't, if you're, if you're an adult and you're an actor, do a good job. Don't fuck around. You know, no one cares. But if you're a kid and, and you're and you're pretty good, you're exceptionally well, then then that rate that raises the bar, you know, like the main praise that people give the movie is because of how wonderful the kids are at acting. No one's going to no one's going to look at like fucking Star Wars or Force Awakens like, man, John Boyega is, is a surprisingly good actor. It's like, of course, he's a good actor. He's like he's an adult. Like he, he's done this, you know, he. he he can process these things. He's he's full grown man, you know, or 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 whatever. So that's that's my concern. I mean, I heard that they were gonna do flashbacks. So like the original cast from this movie is gonna be in the next one in the form of flashbacks because that, apparently that's the way the book is structured. Is it's the adult stuff and they're going through flashbacks of the kids and that happens throughout the movie. And basically, if you do if you make a movie in the same way that the book is ordered sequentially. It would be a fucking nightmare. So that's it. That's all I had to say about that. It's I like the movie. It's not nearly as scary as I thought it was. I just hope that it's more scary and less dark. I heard like a plot point that I don't want to talk about because it's too specific. But there's a there's a plot point that they're gonna change in the movie. Or sorry, that they're gonna change from the book. Yeah, they're gonna change it in the movie, and it's gonna be different from the book. And, and I, I hate it. I don't like it at all. You know, because it's it's what's the point? You know, if you if you know what I'm talking about, then you know what I'm talking about. If not, go wait until the movie comes out. That's it. That's all I have to say. I'm gonna go get some food because I skipped out on breakfast so I could get here in time. Hopefully, they have donuts in the cafe. All right, I'm gonna go. I hope everyone has a fantastic day, and see you later.